<sighs> oh, Muslim, I got a tip for you. If you're going to attack Christianity or the Bible, or actually any religion, you know, Mormonism, Catholicism, uh, JW, whatever it is, you need to get out of Islam first. I mean, really. Uh, because as far as those religions are, I just mentioned, none of them preach or teach that meteor writes burning up in the atmosphere our stars chasing away Satan from spying on Allah like you have in the Quran. Uh, none of them, none of those religions I mentioned um, talk about embryos going through a blood clot stage uh, which according to Muhammad is 40 days in duration according to Sahih, Sahih Sound Hadith. None of those religions talk about the sun setting in a muddy spring before asking or seeking permission of Allah to rise again, like you have in the Quran, and about the asking permission to rise again in the Sahih, Sahih Sound Hadith. You know? Yeah. Uh, none of them talk about mountains being placed down or that the sun and moon travel in boats similar to that of Noah, uh, like, the Hadith, like the Quran has. Of course, Muhammad changes it to a chariot that the sun and moon travel in, according to Al Tabari uh, Tasfir. And, and, and again, none of the religions that I know of preach something that is so cavemanish, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you're going to attack any religion and not look like a hypocrite or <laughs> calling the kettle black, you know, saying like, hey, you got a little paint on your face uh, where you're wearing a, you know, having so much paint you look like a clown you need to get out of islam first <clears throat> it can say <clears throat> i mean really if you say oh uh christianity has pagan roots well guess what islam has pagan roots uh pagan arab roots pa pagan sabian roots you know so that makes it so if you try to attack christianity for possibly having pagan roots you come off as a hypocrite there too and um, if you say, oh, it, uh, Christianity is evil, you know, well, I'll tell you what, nowhere in the Quran, nowhere in the, nowhere in the Bible or any other religious book I'm familiar with, is there allowance to have sex with someone's wife if she's your slave, like you do the Quran 424, which says, forbidden to your married women, you can't have sex with married women, except, uh, that's a key word here, make it so you can, except what your right hand possess, in other words, your slave or captured. Nowhere does, I, does it say in the Bible or any other religious book that I can think of, it says uh, the slave for the slave. I mean, if someone kills your slave, you can kill their slave, like you have in Quran 2, 178. No other religious book can I think, that I can think of has uh, something like Quran 911, 38 and 39, which threaten Muslims the painful doom if they don't go forth killing and being killed the cause of a law. I mean, because of... Quran 9, 111, we have Quran, we, we have Muslims attacking America on 9, 11, 01. 9, 11, 01, like 911. Uh, Quran 9, 111, go forth killing and be killed in the cause of law, you know. Only the Quran has something like that. And the threatening of painful doom, Quran 9, 38 and 39, if you don't go forth killing and being killed in the cause of law. Also, no other religion can I think of uh, has the follower extorting money from those who don't believe like them, like you get with Quran 9, 1 through 5, and Quran 9, 29. That tells Muslims to basically fight non Muslims and kill them, actually, until they feel themselves to do and pay, pay the jizya tax, an extortion tax, like the mafia does, you know, uh, forcing people, like you like your uh, business, well, it can keep from burning down if you, you pay us, you know, things like that, you know, protection tax, you know. Only, only Islam has it. So, if you try to say other religions are evil, uh, <laughs> you're going to look like a hypocrite if you uh, don't. If you say other religions are evil, when it's very apparent that cur that Islam is evil. So, again, if you want to attack other religions, say they're stupid or evil, you've got to get out of Islam. So, really, 
You look like a, a, a stupid hypocrite if you if you stay in Islam and attack other religions. But 